Hello and today welcome to my channel. In this video we'll be inspecting West Brom's uh, squad, finances and overall setup. If this is the first time you have visited my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and keep you bang up to date with all my FM related content moving forward. Uh, I'm trying to get each and every Premier League side up on the tube so you can have a quick overview before making your decisions as to who you're going to take over and manage uh, for the season. Obviously, if you're a West Brom fan, you want to know a bit more about it, but I'm going to waste no more time and jump straight in with the start of the video. So that's right, folks, back in the hot seat at West Brom. I've taken over the reins from uh, Tony Poulis. He's taken them as far as I, he could, but I am here now just to give you guys a quick overview of one of the most underrated sides in the Premier League. You know, I would, as a Rovers fan, Swap positions with you guys in a heartbeat. Poulos is of the same vein of Sam Allardyce and maybe to a point uh, Mark Hughes, but not really. Um, Tony Poulos does the job, gets the job done. You know, uh, as a you know entertainment point of view, he might not uh, he might not be up there with the big boys, uh, but as in performance wise, you know your West Broms they're not going to be your top top six material. But they're not going to be in the drop zone either. They're going to do uh, what it takes to stay in this division. And that is what you want as a football fan. Especially, you know, I would love to be back in the Premier League uh, right now. Obviously, you got, you, you got your own ambitions and you want to see West Brom up there. But you've got to take it with a pinch of salt. You know, you've got to take uh, your position, where you are, where you were, um, and where other teams such who were in your position are now. For example, us, Blackburn Rovers in League One, Portsmouth in League One, Wigan League One. We were all established Premier League sides like a West Brom, like a Stoke, uh, like uh, who else is in that sort of category? Maybe a West Ham. Uh, West Ham probably think they're bigger than that. But anyway, West Brom, quality side, to do the job that it entails and they stay in the Premier League week in, week out uh, or season after season. Whether who did they have before? Pulis, um, regardless of who they had. Uh, they've had Martin Yo in the past, I believe. But anyway, they just they just stick around. They just do enough, and fair play to them. Anyway, enough wasting your time about that. Let's have a look at your preseason. Nothing too crazy to, to write home about. No Far Eastern jaunts, no trips to the stateside. But uh, it looks like you're going to be in and across Europe. Dolwich Hamlet. That's a that's a local away. Uh, I want to say local, but it's, it's a domestic uh, match. Yeah, then you uh, take on Bromby at your own gaff. Then Tondarella, you're off to Tondarella, wherever Tondarella may, may be. Tondarella's in the Portuguese league, if you didn't know, because I didn't know. And then you also take on Belenese, I believe they are also in the Portuguese league. See, I do know some stuff. And then finally, you wrap up your uh, preseason at home to groin again. Now let's take a look at the stuff that matters, your financial clout. Now considering you're in the same vein as the Burnleys, and maybe even the Newcastles. Uh, you got a bit. Of, you got a bit of money to your name. Twenty-five million. That's uh, credit to the people uh, in place there. Obviously, Tony Pulis done a great job. Uh, you know, bringing in some money, and he's given you twenty-five. Or he's left you twenty-five million to spend, and that could be even pushed up further to twenty-seven million should you decide to do that. But it will take a snip out of your wages. Uh, moving on to your under eighteen squad. Let's take a look at some key players. Uh, I'm having a look at the values to determine who is someone to look at. This sh potential attacking player, Ryan Tullock. Let's have a look at him. He's got the makings of a four-star player, so he's one to keep an eye on. Maybe uh, um, some extra focus on training for this guy. Uh, who else is in there? Same guy, same position. Callum Morton, more on the left-hand side. Again, he's got the makings of a potential four-star. So maybe you want to focus giving him a bit more bit more of your time in training should you be the one in charge of training maybe your assistant uh, will do that let's take a look at your under 23s you have six goalkeepers in your under 23s no real standouts though there's no there's no superstars in there there's just a lot of players of similar age um making trying to make the grade up to senior squad but uh, it looks to be quite congested um in the goalkeeper department Moving forward, uh, in fact, realistically, there's no major heavyweights in in your uh, under 23s. The, the the only players that stand out for me are the, these 
these players, and they're, they're a good age. They are under 23 players, and they're not, you know, they're there, but they're also on loan. Look at this guy. You know him a little bit. Raheem Harper, currently at Rovers. Big, uh, big future predicted for this guy. He's got cracking stats for a 17-year-old uh, in the physical section. Um, decent player. Fortunately, hasn't, hasn't really gelled for him so far um, with Rovers. Maybe we'll, we'll give him a, an opportunity as the season uh, chips away. But right now, um, we got to we as the Rovers got to focus on getting out of this division. And um, Raheem Harper will get some game time. It's just um, priorities at the moment. So no major standouts, no superstars who've fallen from grace in here. Uh, who's this Chinese fella? Zhang Yuing, 20 years old. Let's have a look at him. He's on loan at Bremen, probably to, to rectify some, some work permit snafus. Um, I don't know. Anyway, let's check out the main squad here of players. Ben Foster, obviously. 34 years old, been around a while. Safe set of hands. Was he on Man United's books? He was on Man United's books. Didn't really... Uh, and he was also at Watford's books. I remember that those days um, quite well. But as my heel, another decent keeper. Both of the similar ages, you know, similar types of, of, of goalkeepers. Uh, who else have you got? McCauley, 37 years old, ranked 1.1 million uh, uh, pounds. Johnny Evans, you managed to hang on to that guy over the transfer winner. Fair play to you. Getting credit for... For Tony Pulis for digging his heels in a little bit. It was he wasn't it wasn't it wasn't rude or you know objectful for it. You know they they expressed how much he meant to them and how much they valued him. If they weren't going to pay that money, then do one. Um, but yeah, this is a this this to me reminds me of a of a, of a Blackburn Rovers squad of ten years ago. Uh, you know, there's no superstars. They just they just seem to gel together. But you guys have strengthened immensely by bringing this guy in who else did i just see gareth barry he might be old but he knows what he's doing. talking about kieran gibbs quality player jay rodriguez just snapped him up uh, oliver burke one for the future uh whole robson canoe uh cracking bit of free transfer right there james mclean he's he could be a little troublesome um but he's quality james morrison also pretty decent he's getting on a bit now 31 years old um jake livermore can't knock him ahmed hagazi is he on loan on loan. See, that's uh, that's uh, an area. Maybe you want to explore the Egyptian market because that is a giveaway. Snap that sucker up. So not bad. Um, in fact, I, I think it's one of the strongest squads outside the top six I, I've seen so far. Uh, as for contract situations, you got a bunch, a whole host of them who uh, are expiring. So that's some, an area that you want to focus some attention on. Uh, Claudio Jacob. Uh, valued at 15.5 million, you don't want to lose that money. Uh, Chris Brunt, he might be getting on a bit, but um, 7.5 million, 32 years old. You know, I, that's a player I, I was hopeful we could snap up a while ago, a couple of seasons ago. Um, but you guys, obviously, in the Premier League, had that to offer him. My Hill, uh, McCauley, and Barry, two veterans there. Some some players again you would probably want to keep a hold of. Uh, wages. Let's have a look at wages. I don't do this very often. Sixty six million. This guy's on sixty six. Sorry, sixty six thousand per week. Johnny Evans sixty five thousand. He's only got another year after that, so maybe maybe you could consider selling him, getting some cash, extra cash in there, and build. Let's take a look at the competitions. What the board expects. The board expects a mid table finish, so they don't expect a battle from relegation. They do expect a de decent. 12th to maybe 8th position. Um, that's what you'll be looking at. As for the FA Cup, reach the 5th round. As for the Carabao Cup or the League Cup, they expect you to reach the 4th round. You're in the 2nd round. You're in there with some of the some of the smaller clubs. But hey, this is a good opportunity for you guys to get into Europe, uh, win this. Uh, and then if you get to Europe, you never just, you never know. You never know what happens. You know, look at Seville, uh, Sevilla and also Manchester United. They also went into Europe. Um, whichever way they went into, they won it, and then they're in the Champions League. Just a just a thought. Uh, moving forward, let's take a look at the team report. Feel free to pause the video here and have a gander and read through that. Um, it just gives you a bit of an overview. Squad depth. Uh, oh, an area of obvious uh, lacking of numbers. Right back. Um, McCauley's 37 years of age. Not sure you're going to play him at right back. 
Um, then you've got Alan Nayom and Craig Dawson. So that's probably an area you want to explore. Besides that, you've got good numbers here uh, up front. You've got at least two decent strikers, uh, Rondon and Jay Rodriguez. Um, uh, Robson Khan, who can play there, but you know, you, you, you could probably consider an, an extra striker. Uh, your youth doesn't have that, man, that much uh, options coming through, so I would, I would say possibly explore that route. Anyway, as, as, as for the dynamics, very good dressing room atmosphere. I'm eating away at my time here. Uh, in the hierarchy, three uh, mega team leaders, Morrison, Brunt, and current skipper Johnny Evans. Then you've got an, a, a host of nine other players who could make the grade should these three move on to pastures. New social groups, monster core there of uh, players in the social groups uh, who could be potential mentors or leaders or uh, tutors or whatever they're calling it in this version. Uh, that's something that was never included in the old game that I played uh, 10 years ago. As for overall happiness, good morale across the board. A lot of dark green, which is excellent to see. Uh, and this guy is in exceptional spirits despite being on the transfer market. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I've got for you there. Cracking, uh, cracking team, uh, West Brom. You should pick this one. I think this is a good one to pick. Uh, it's got the good foundations, good starting roster. Okay, the youth setup's not the greatest. And you get given a, a fair whack of money and some players in there that you can probably sell. But it's, it's a good starting point. Um, but it's all I've got for you. If there's something I missed, please leave a comment in the section below. Uh, I do plan to do each and every Premier League team over the next few days. However, there's a team out there. Maybe you want me to check out Groenigan, uh, Suarez's old team. Uh, just let me know in the comments section. I'll try and do it for you. Moving forward, once the initial craziness calms down, I'll do a beta release. Uh, once the craziness of the beta and the actual release of FM18 does calm down, I'm going to plan to do some game saves. I have a few epic ones in the pipeline, so please be sure to stick around. But until next time... Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Check back for more FM content over the next few days. As for my Rovers fans, fear not. Blackburn Rovers content will always be my number one. So don't you go anywhere. Anyway, let's head back into the dugout for some more FM action.